This is the beginning of Grossglockner Hochalpenstrasse. in Brunek. And today is our day off of motorcycle and our plan is to take a sightseeing tour uh, in a nice city because it's very old. Some of the buildings are from 15th and 16th century. We're gonna see some of them because we have two mm. or three hours before it's going to rain. Before we are going further, click the like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy our productions. Thanks. Okay, we're going. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Tour tourist mode on and let's go. From our apartment, we have close distance to all Brunico attractions. The main street with very unique and great sports shop commercial. And if you want to see the proper commercial, this is the proper one. The old town, if you can say something like that in Italy, where so many things are old. So here, like in uh, many other places, there is a bridge with uh, locks on it. So you know, you have a lock in your love. The castle. Yes, motorcycle tours are not good for condition. <laughs> and right now, we are on a Brunico castle. Walk here is very, very, very hard. It takes like five minutes. <laughs> uh -huh. YouTube, YouTube can see this. <laughs> so this is how it looks like from the beginning. The castle is paid 14 euros to get inside and we didn't do it because uh, we are more uh, interested in local culture and this castle is uh, focused on uh, some like mountain people from Asia, Africa and something like that. So it's like... It's not even Italian, so we are not interested in it. <laughs> My crazy girl! And we have here and hanging bridge. Wow! Whoa, 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 no, don't jump, don't jump. <laughs> no. <laughs> nice view from here also. It's a very interesting city. For just uh, one day, I think there is a whole enough time and places to visit. So. Maybe you will find some inspiration on your travel to, to find this place interesting. We made it here that we can see the whole city and the valley. It's a viewpoint and here is the valley and here we can see the whole castle. Which is uh, much nicer from that side. And from that side we can see that it's uh, much higher than we thought. And from this castle of course they could see the whole valley. I think which is the whole point, isn't it? from that place we can go in three ways and we decided to go the hardest one I hope that I'm gonna shit myself after this water <laughs> <laughs> and cemetery very old we came down from our trip we are back in the city now. This is the tower that we saw from our house almost. And right now we're about to find maybe a shop to make some uh, lunch, some beer. Enjoy our free day. On our way home we met that group and wondered what is it all about. If you know, please let me know in the comments. We 
don't know what is going on here again, but they are coming back. It's the same group. Yeah, so it's a lunch time. Today, chief of our trip. Mamma mia! <laughs> <laughs> Prepares meal Pi for us. Pietronio Pietrolini is making carbonara. Polish or, carbonara. Or international <laughs> carbonara. So Italian, Italians, Italian, Ita Italian people, don't kill me, please. Oh, they are already angry. They sent a storm at us. <laughs> Italy and we are going to be here in the next two days but we are going to sleep in uh, Bolzano today we are doing Dolomites and tomorrow Garda Lake and right now we are packing up guys are preparing motorcycle we just have to take our stuff and we are ready to go In our today's route I put passes I carefully selected from all roads in this area to make it spectacular with such roads like Passo Gardena, Tretroci, Giau, Falzareco, Sella, Fedaia Marmolada and more. We had a little over 300 kilometers and it was possible to do it, but there are a few things that we weren't prepared for. First, cyclists. We came to Dolomiti right before start of some huge race and cyclists were everywhere. We lost so much time riding along huge groups of them without possibility to overtake. Time were passing by and kilometers weren't going along with it, so we started to be a little concerned. The other thing is weather. Normally all those roads are beautiful with majestic mountains but we saw mostly clouds at first and we got rain almost all the time later. On top of that all those roads should be closed the next day because of the race so we were somehow lucky being there before that. And this place here is Passo Giau and it's very high and uh, there are huge mountains uh, around us, but uh, they are covered in uh, clouds. So I hope that the clouds are will be gone, maybe soon. So we will have nice views, but uh, now uh, we can see shit. <laughs> We've ridden like 80, 90 kilometers now. So it's a good play, good time for to take a break with coffee, maybe eat something and go along. The clouds went a little, a little so we can see now this giant rock here, mountain. This is our eating station. We have coffee already done and we have Parmigiano Reggiano, the Grana Padano, Grana Padano. Yes, and some sausage and some feta, oh, feta cheese and other cheeses. Many cheeses. We like cheese. <laughs>
Pazzo, Passo Falzarego. And we are having a nice weather this time. On each pass we have a better view, so <laughs> I hope that it's gonna last. We are in Dolomiti. It's a huge mountains and it's a national park and UNESCO object. So we are a little lucky because we can see them. There could be a situation that there is nothing seen. And I hope that you enjoy this place with us as we do. From now on we had only rain and with every minute it was falling stronger. Until now the views were full of clouds so we started to thinking about giving up the rest of the route. We lost so much time in traffic in towns and navigation was showing that we already gonna be at our accommodation extremely late. The crisis came on Sella Pass when it started to rain so strong that it was really hard to ride. That was the moment when we said no more and some time later we turned towards Bolzano. Right now we are about 40 minutes left uh, of riding for today and uh, you see this is we have sun now. Guys found amazingly cheap hotel called Pietra Alba which was placed right beside the sanctuary. All that was only 60 kilometers away from us. This place here our place for two days. It's called Pietra Alba and here is some kind of Weissenstein, I know it's kind of mona monastery and our hotel I think is there and we got this amazingly cheap because it was like 90 euro for four person with breakfast for one day. very hungry so the first thing is to eat <laughs> we are in a restaurant <laughs> we're gonna eat something <laughs> eat some food Ooh. right now we have bread <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so here we are after eating yeah, it was not the best meal that I had in my life, but it was eatable. <laughs> yes, we uh, we ordered like two dishes per one person almost, so it was pretty expensive, but we, we wanted to try this restaurant. And uh, so we tried and we're not going 
coming back here. <laughs> yes, we'll try another one in this area. And we have nice weather, it's pretty warm, there's not raining, you have nice, we have nice sunset. And you know guys, so the more we are riding, the more we are focused maybe on experiencing uh, things and having a good time, not only making a time route, 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 and we have to ride, ride, come on, we have to see things. So I think now we are much wiser, but we have and... some magnets and we have stickers, so it's good. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most important. <laughs> yes, so we hope that you enjoyed our video. Please like, subscribe, of course, and see you tomorrow and see you on the next.